Kata for Luang Por Nuring Amulets of Wat Banklan. Luang Por Nuring was one of Thailand's ten most respected and revered monks. He was born in 1810 during the reign of King Rama I at Banklan village, Pichit province. At the age of 12, he became a student of Luang Pu Suk at Wat Pak Klong Makam Tao Temple. He began his education at Wat Tung Pu, the official name of Wat Shana Sankram in Bangkok where he was a novice monk at age 20. Where he remained at the temple for several years to practice meditation before departing to Wat Konkaram, Wat Banklan. Later, he traveled and spent considerable time in the forest. It was known as, Tudong, in Thai. To develop spiritual practices and learn Buddhism and magic from different teachers. One day Luang Phor Nern decided to travel to the north until he reached a village. He had a sudden inspiration and from there, he chose to sapling the Bodhi tree, which he cut at the temple's main entrance. He later prayed to Lord Buddha and asked whether the location he selected was suitable to build a temple, and if granted, it would show good encouragement from the cutting he had planted. The stem cutting successfully grew into a beautiful Bodhi tree, and it was now where Luang Phor Nern built the temple around 1834, known as Wat Banklin or Wat Wang Tako, and grew rapidly. Some people respected and offered themselves as disciples. Luang Phor Nuring is a famous monk and instructor of the temple. Luang Phor Nuring's magical and spiritual powers are well known. During that time, Luang Phor Nuring often visited Sumdij Budak and To at Wat Rakang to learn prayer spell and further his studies of magic and Buddhism from him. Hence the link between the two great masters resulted in the belief that the amulets of Luang Phor Nuring are just as sacred as the herb powder-based charms of Sumdij Budak and To. Luang Phor Nuring, a temple abbot, had many visitors daily. In the past, the temple was known for treatments using herbs, holy water, and incantation according to ancient traditions. One of the treatments called Yib Cha cured sprain and paralysis by dipping the patient foot into the herbal oil. A famous story says that a businessman came to ask Luang Phor Nern for some sacred holy water to bring him good luck and increase prosperity. Luang Phor Nern lit a candle and held a long conversation with the businessman. In frustration, the businessman asked how long the blessing of holy water would begin. Luang Phor Nern told him that he had fully blessed the sacred water. The businessman was very disappointed and thought the holy water would not work as it had not been blessed, only a long conversation. The businessman took the water from him and tried to pour it into the river, but the container would not empty and remain whole. It is one of his stories describing the magical powers of Luang Phor Nern. Luang Phor Nern made many amulets and talismans throughout his lifetime, and passed away in 1919 at 109, having served the Buddhist faith for 90 years. The offerings to Luang Phor Nern are on Tuesdays, Thursdays, or Friday. The offerings may include nine lotus flowers. 9 jasmine flower necklaces 3 betel nuts 3 betel leaves 3 packets of tobacco, loose leaf, not in the form of cigarettes, 9 incense sticks, and a pair of candles. When making the offering, pray for your deepest desires, and reflect upon Luang Phor Nuring and his virtues. Then proceed to pray, and make your wish. Now let us chant the preliminary prayer. Before chanting to any Thai Buddhist statue or amulet, first chant three times of this initial mantra Namo Tasa Bhagavato Arahato Sammasam Buddharsa. Namo Tatsa Pakawato Arahato Samma Samputatsa. Namo Tatsa Pakawato Arahato Samma Samputatsa. Namo Tatsa, Pakawato, Arahato, Samma, Samputatsa. Praying worship to Luang Phor Nuring or his created amulets, it is recommended to face an image of Luang Phor Nuring statue or his amulet to use as an object while praying and chanting the kata. In this kata chanting, there are two versions, the first version is recorded and repeated three times. You may repeat for more according to your faith. Kata for daily praying to Luang for Nuring statues or amulets. Long version. Na puttang arahang meta jit. Na tamang arahang meta jit. Na sankang arahang meta jit.
เอหิพุทธังปิยังมะมะผู้คนหลายมานาชาลีติเอหิธรรมังปิยังมะมะข้าวของหลายมานาชาลีติเอหิสังขังปิยังมะมะเงินทองหลายมานาชาลีติชิมพลีจะมหาลาโพพระวันตุเมณพุทธังอรหังเมตตาจิตณธรรมังอรหังเมตตาจิตณสังขังอรหังเมตตาจิตเอหิพุทธังปิยังมะมะผู้คนหลายมานาชาลีติเอหิธรรมังปิยังมะมะข้าวของหลายมานาชาลีติเอหิสังขังปิยังมะมะเงินทองหลายมานาชาลีติชิมพลีจะมหาลาโพพระวันตุเมณพุทธังอรหังเมตตาจิตณธรรมังอรหังเมตตาจิตณสังขังอรหังเมตตาจิตเอหิพุทธังปิยังมะมะผู้คนหลายมานาชาลีติเอหิธรรมังปิยังมะมะข้าวของหลายมานาชาลีติเอหิสังขังปิยังมะมะเงินทองหลายมานาชาลีติชิมพลีจะมหาลาโพพระวันตุเม The second kata is a short version of kata chanting to worship Luang f o r Nurng, and it is said to be repeated nine times. Na n g n mi ma na cha li ti, na n g n lai ma na cha li ti, na n g n mi ma na cha li ti, na n g n lai ma na cha li ti, na n g n mi ma na cha li ti, na n g n lai ma na cha li ti, na n g n mi ma na cha li ti. ณเงินหลายมาณชาลีติณเงินมีมาณชาลีติณเงินหลายมาณชาลีติณเงินมีมาณชาลีติณเงินหลายมาณชาลีติณเงินมีมาณชาลีติณเงินหลายมาณชาลีติณเงินมีมาณชาลีติณเงินหลายมาณชาลีติณเงินมีมาณชาลีติณเงินไหลมาณชาลีติ